Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys solar systems so yeah we're on episode 122 of this series now and we, yeah, we have got one system to check out today from the user Ahmed in discord so yeah massive thank you to them for sending this in and yeah their system is called Ahmed Solar System so without further ado we'll just get straight into this let's search it oh he's got like a cool little thumbnail going on here so let's see what he has um, got for us in this simulation so let's just wait for it to load up okay so here it is pretty um, pretty interesting oh we're not locked into the star yet so yeah there we go but yeah look at this oh, it's got a green star okay looking interesting we've got 110 objects in here alright so let's uh, zoom all the way in and see what we have got here so yeah first green star or greenish star we've seen in one of these so yeah look at that but it's not like overkill with the green it's, it's still quite a pale green i think that looks quite cool actually it's also got a um little like set of rings around it a set of asteroid asteroids um and all that there but yeah anyways moving on to our first um actually no before we head to the planet let's check the stats got to check the stats okay so here we go so it's bigger than the sun in pretty much absolutely everything it's very luminous so i guess it's sort of around the i don't know the let's uh, let's compare it with some stars actually let's just see how big this thing actually is so my guess just looking at that value would be somewhere would it be around uh no it wouldn't, i don't think a santari size is it let's um let's compare it with um Rigel. Okay, so it's okay, it's nowhere near the size of Rigel. Uh what about Arcturus here? Yeah, I was thinking maybe it'd be sort of comparable to that. Compare it to Sirius there and obviously the sun. Yeah, it's 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 quite a lot bigger than the sun there. So Pollux it's about the size of Pollux. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Right, that's that done though. Um we can put the zone on as well. So yeah, there we go. Let's uh turn that on. See so, yeah, there we go. So right, right, anyways, yeah, moving on. So the first planet. Let's actually get onto it now. So the magma planet. Okay, so let's um check this guy out. So here we go. Right, so it looks have um oh it's sort of made oh, it's appearing to look a little more green than it actually is because it's meant look up here it's, by the image up here that is meant to be yellow and red but the star actually makes it look quite green and red so that's um that's pretty cool but yeah there's um, what it's supposed to look like so we'll go on a directional light there so I've got to say I think that looks really cool with the way the colours are blended with the patches of water as well it's got a bit of ice up there and stuff as well a little um glitchy looking but yeah just looking at the planet itself it kind of reminds me of io as well with these patches of water it kind of reminds me of like this the dark spots on io let's actually get a comparison with io but i think this i think this planet looks really cool and it's designed quite well so there, there's, there's io there so yeah, if we just uh, take a quick peek at eye, you can sort of see the darker marks on all of the black dots and stuff. That's sort of what those water patches remind me of, which I think is pretty cool, I have to say. I, I really like the way that's designed. So yeah, very, very nice job with the magma planet there. It's about the size of um, Mar Mars-ish sort of size. It's at 40 degrees. So yeah, there we go. He's obviously got to keep the water um, going on it there. We're now moving on to um, Ahmed's world itself here. So this one's looking pretty cool. I'm guessing this is the one that was in the uh, thumbnail here. So, yeah, there we go. I'll see the green star as well. Let's just take a look at that. Look at that green star. Um, what does it look like on realistic? Okay, so you've got the very greenish tint to it going with the star. I think that's really cool. It's very similar stats to Earth. So I'm guessing we'll have quite high stats in the Earth similarity at 99.1. Life flight could at 7 there. So, there we go. Looking good. Uh, it had a moon as well. Let's check out the moon. So, we've got Ahmed's planet, Ahmed's moon. So, here we go here. And the moon's quite um, similar looking to the planet as well. It's a little more of an ocean well though definitely a lot more um, oceans across the surface here so a lot colder as well we can check the stats on this sky as well but yeah the life is a lot um, less due to the temperature i'm guessing but yeah there we go so yeah looking really cool I, I, I think the top of it looks pretty cool i mean look at now that that um set of ice cap or that ice cap there that north pole i think that looks really cool the way that all spreads out there very nice i really like that and then the south as well little um less good looking in the south that's just just because the planet's texture's gone a little weird but i think the north actually looks quite cool with the way all the ice is spread out on all those northern islands and stuff up there so yeah looking good there but yeah there we go the planet again so it's got obviously some patches of white on it as well there but yeah looking good so let's uh, zoom out again so where are we heading next so yeah next up we got ice planet out here so zooming all the way in so it appears to be a purple world the yellowish sort of atmosphere i'm um, going on it so realistic mode it looks like this i think the realistic mode actually makes it look quite good as well look at that so it makes the yellow more of a lime color um, with the green starlight but yeah there we go so that's it on directional there but yeah i think that looks really nice as well we've got the yeah the yellowish clouds with the atmosphere i think that blends very nice with the purple um, surface underneath as well it's also got quite good um temperature stats so let's check out its similarities against yeah again quite high stats that's two very very high stat worlds um in this simulation so yeah very very nice job with those so there is the ice planet 
Now heading out, we've got the um, Gas Giant out here. So this one, we've got a nice mix of colours on the Gas Giant as well. Um, directional light, let's go on realistic to start off with. So as you can see, the starlight's getting a little dimmer now. We are about 100 AU out. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty far now. We're taking a massive jump. If we look back on directional though, that is a very nice mix of colours. So we've got a bit of yellowy lime at the top, a bit of a cyan turquoise, and then a bit of green in the south there. See, that's a, that's a very nice mixture of colour there. And then we've also got um, the moon over here of it as well. We've got one moon. That's a nice shot of a gas giant from the moon. Let's actually get a um no, we'll keep it on directional light, but let's just let's just land on the moon. Get a nice look at that gas giant. Look at that. Oh, imagine seeing that in the sky. I mean the size of it, just the sheer size of it as well. I mean that's that's um that's a pretty big guy there. I mean, look at that. Very, very nice indeed there. But yeah, really, really like the way um the gas giant looks um from the moon as well. So yeah, there we go. So let's um head out. Oh, there's another moon. Let's see what this is. So we've got moon two. Right, so here we go. And again, that is a very, very funky um, looking coloured moon here with the green and the blue. Let's also get a uh, look at the gas giant from the moon as well. So there we go. Let's land on the surface. Have a little peek around. So where, where's the gas giant at? Gas giant, where are you? Oh, there you go. So let's just turn all that off. See, so there we go. So it's a lot further out now. But yeah, that's a really nice looking gas giant. And if we go back on realistic mode, um, that's what you'd actually see there. So there we go. So yeah, really, really nice stuff there. And then we see we're very far away from the star now. It's been hidden by those asteroids around it as well. But if we zoom all the way out now, so we have another gas giant, I'm assuming is the last object in here. But yeah, really, really cool um, short little system, I think this is. Very, very nice indeed. This one is completely in darkness, so directional light, get the full view of it. So we've got more of a rainbow-like one here, pretty much a bit of everything. Um, with the colours on it, so yeah, there we go there, but yeah, there we are, so really, really nice system, I did enjoy going through that, I think, I thought it was really cool, I really like the green star, with the palish green, I think that looks really cool, and then heading to the planets, so gas giants, this one definitely wins to me, without a doubt, since there's only two to pick from, but yeah, that's definitely the one I prefer, moving on to the planets, oh, this is a tough choice, I really like the ice planet, and I really like the magma, I think those are my top two rockies, um, out of them all, I have to say, oh, I really like the way the water is just sprayed on that yellow and red surface. I like that. That's a hard choice. But I think I'll go with the ice planet. I really like the mix of purple with the ice on it as well, obviously. Uh, and then the yellow um, atmosphere and clouds. I think that one just wins it for me. But that's a very close choice between all three of them. Because, yeah, the Ahmed's world as well. I think that looks really nice with the um, the blending of colours, the surface, the ice on it as well. So, yeah, very nice job there. And then um, down here we got the moons as well. I think out of the moons it probably would be Ahmed's moon. It takes the cake for me. Um, I do like the oceans on it as well there but um yeah with that all out the way guys a massive thank you for watching today's video as well it does look weird having a green star doesn't it it's very weird seeing it um green but yeah a massive thank you for watching today's video and also if you want to send in your own simulations for this series make sure to check out my discord server link in the description as there is a whole dedicated chat for it where you can upload your simulations or put download links or you can let me know your name of your simulations in the comments for the steam workshop but please note it it's not as um likely that i will see or, or get around to doing the system as the comments do tend to get lost or go in the spam box. So please keep that in mind when sending in the comments. I may not get around to seeing it. So yeah, please keep that in mind. But yeah, that all the way, guys. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video for this really, really cool system. I really, really like the star as well, I have to say. Um, but yeah, that all the way, guys. Make sure you all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.